Hi, I'm Stefan Flöjt from Capier Tab. Hi, I'm Fredrik Juling from Mariko. Welcome, Welcome to Sunning Academy. Wrist shot, forehand. Hit the ball in between the legs and close to your body. Let the blade slide along the floor. Note that more pressure against the floor increases power and speed of the wrist shot. The stick actually adds a lot of speed and power to your shot. When you're shooting, if you lean into the shot, you will load the stick, putting energy into the shaft, which is then transferred to the ball when you release your shot. Your follow-through is very important. When you follow through, you're essentially aiming where the ball is going. Tip 1. Added power can be gained from a twitch of the blade when the stick is pulled back and then twitching back when releasing the shot. Tip 2. You can generate a lot of flex on your stick by buying the stick with the appropriate flex, which depends on your weight and size. Sweeper, forehand. When taking a sweeper shot, the ball should be drawn back behind your leg. Think of it as throwing a ball. In order to get more power, you want to pull it back so you can get a lot of power. Weight transfer increases the shooting power. When you begin the shot, the weight is almost evenly distributed. When taking the shot, you should move almost all weight to the front leg and push off with your back and front leg, thus putting more power and energy into your sweeper shot. At the start of the sweeper, the ball should be located at the heel or close to it of the blade. While you're executing the sweeper, the ball will roll forward toward the toe of your blade. This will give the ball a spin and also allow you to aim where you want to shoot. Your follow through is very important. When you follow through, you're essentially aiming where the ball is going. Tip: Use your whole body to follow through. Don't forget to lift your head and look where the goal is. Slap shot. Move all of your weight from your back leg to front leg in one fluid motion. The idea is to shift your weight in the direction of the shot. This puts more energy and power into your slap shot. Straight arms in the backswing will help you to avoid high sticking. Make sure you do not exceed the waist limit in your backswing. Beginners often try to hit the ball directly. This is not the proper way to hit a slap shot. Instead, make sure you hit the floor 10 to 15 centimeters before the ball. This allows you to load or flex the stick first. Loading the stick is where a lot of power in your slap shot comes from. Tip: It is better to be accurate than to shoot for 180 kilometers per hour. You'll never score a goal if you do not hit the net. Out sweeper. Hold your chin up and try to locate the net. A quick upper body rotation increases the power of the shot. Do not be afraid to flex your weight on your stick, which will give you extra energy and power to your outsweeper. Make sure your upper body is rotating enough so you're not only using your arms when shooting. Turn up toward the net and strengthen the motion by pointing your stick towards the net, assuring your shot has the right direction. Insweeper this shot is a combination of shooting feint and a sweeper shoot in one fluid motion, also called toe drag. Very useful when you have a defender in front of you or when having a penalty shot and you would like to shoot beside the defending wall. Tip: The more curve motion you can get, the more power you will get when shooting. Spinner, forehand. This shot is used when you're positioned in the box standing with your back toward the net. Rotate and fire away the shot. Do not be afraid to flex your weight on your stick, which will give you extra energy and power to your spinner. Volley, two-handed, forehand. It's easiest to hit the ball exactly on half volley at the moment it bounces, but being able to hit on volley gives you a great advantage in front of the net. Tip: Straight arms and backswing will help you avoid high sticking. Make sure you do not exceed the waist limit in your backswing. Volley, two-handed, backhand. It's easiest to hit the ball exactly on half volley at the moment it bounces, but being able to hit on volley gives you a great advantage in front of the net. Tip: Straight arms in your backswing will help you to avoid high sticking. Make sure you do not exceed the waist limit in your backswing. Knocker, backhand. 
A powerful backhand shot gives you more opportunities to score goals. You'll not always have time to switch to forehand and shoot. When you want to hit a knocker, protect the ball on your side. Take it to out and knock it off. The blade should hit the ball under the ball. Vary the angle of the blade in order to get different height with this shot. You want to hit the ball somewhere in between the heel and the middle of the blade, the flat spot. Backhand Sweeper Sometimes a quick forehand to backhand deke is the perfect way to beat a goalie. A player with a good backhand shot will be able to shoot the ball over the goalie's legs, top shelf, and score more goals. The first step is to draw the ball back in your stance to the leg furthest from the net. When hitting a backhand sweeper, you want the ball to start between the middle and the heel of your stick blade. Remember to also transfer your weight into the shot. You want to move your weight in the direction of the shot. This will give you more power. Do not forget, your leg push-off really adds a lot of power to the backhand sweeper. Release the ball from the middle of the blade. Tip. With a powerful backhand, you'll also roll your hands over to aim the shot, sort of like a snap and roll combined. Crusher Backhand The backhand crusher is a difficult shot for both the defender and the goalie, as it's quick and unpredictable. Frederick smacks the ball at an angle from above. The pressure you will get will lift the ball up and fire it away. The shot is hard and often surprising.